Welcome to Designing Spaces Think Green, a special edition of the show that's all about you, your space, and living the greener lifestyle. We have a great lineup of topics for you today that's going to help you and your family live a more eco-friendly lifestyle. So let's get started right now and think green. You know, some of the plants here at the Chicago Botanic Garden are so delicate that they can only be watered with rainwater because the pH level in the groundwater is just too high. So that's a way that we're helping protect the environment. Another way to help roll back any damage to the environment is to go sustainable. Now, take, for example, sustainable car parts. Yes, car parts. And here with more on that is Bridget Daly in Riverside, California. You know the routine. When you bring your car in for an oil change, you also change the air filter. You know, in 2010, there were approximately 12 million cars sold here in the U.S., but over 100 million air filters ended up in our nation's landfills. Crazy, but it doesn't have to be like that. What if there was an air filter that lasted the entire lifespan of your vehicle? Well, today with us on Think Green, we have Steve Rogers from k and Air Filters here to show us that there is an air filter that does last and offers so much more. Thanks so much for joining us here on Think Green and finally shedding some light on air filters. Well, thanks for giving us an opportunity to come and talk with you about them. Now, I don't know too much about air filters, I'll admit, but I think this is one right here, right? Yeah, this is an air filter that most people would recognize. It's probably the most common type of air filter. It's made of a paper material and it's literally designed to be thrown away when it gets to the end of its service life which could be anywhere from every 12,000 miles to every 25,000 miles. Uh, we've even seen many instances where consumers will throw away a disposable air filter and buy a new one each time they have their oil change in their car. Now, this is the type of air filter that will get clogged with dirt, and then people will throw it away, and this is what ends up in our landfills, right? That's exactly right. Uh, you mentioned earlier that there were 12 million vehicles sold in the United States in 2010. But on a larger scale, the total number of vehicles in the United States is over 200 million. Wow. And that's why there's over 100 million of these disposable type filters that just get thrown away in the nation's landfills year in and year out. That's incredible. Now you mentioned disposable, but how do we make an air filter permanent? A smarter solution would be able to build an air filter that's washable and reusable so that one air filter will last for the life of a vehicle. I mean, a washable air filter, that is a great idea. Bridget, we're standing in the middle of a pretty large factory, and in fact, we sell over two million K&N washable reusable air filters every year. But it really started a long time ago with a pretty unique idea. K&N actually invented the concept of making a washable, reusable performance air filter out of multiple layers of cotton gauze that are then sandwiched between aluminum wire uh, in a frame that's highly durable. But it's not the washable and reusable aspect of the air filters that really first made them famous and helped us develop the following that we have. These air filters, because they're made of cotton, breathe much easier than a standard paper air filter. So just like you can blow air through a cotton shirt much easier than you can blow through it a sheet of paper, that air can enter an engine easier through a cotton air filter than through a paper air filter. And as a result of that, it actually improves the horsepower of an engine or a vehicle in a measurable way. And it's that performance improvement that really caused our filters to first become popular among people who cared about performance, amongst race car drivers, and that's how we got here. As I had talked about before, using multiple layers of cotton allows the filter to breathe much more easily, which can create an improvement in the performance of an engine. When you're starting to look at an intake system, while it does require a little bit more of a complicated installation process, the benefits are up to four times those of an air filter alone. The intake system also has a heat shield, which is designed to help protect the air filter and the air entering it from the heat coming off of an engine. And the cooler air is as it goes into the engine, the more efficient will be the combustion process and the more horsepower will it create. 
And finally, it includes a pretty massive tube that maximizes the airflow and minimizes restriction, again, as the air goes into the engine. And that's why you can get really tremendous horsepower increases with an intake system that actually changes the way your car feels as you drive it. Wow, very interesting. Now, I have to ask, all the times that I've been in for an oil change on my car, I've never heard them mention washable air filters. And I always figured they had to have a reason for that. The truth is a lot of mechanics and service providers would just as soon sell you a disposable filter over and over and over again than provide you with a lifetime product that'll last as long as you have your car. Okay, I think it's time we finally learned how to install an air filter. Now this is an easy do-it-yourself project, right? It's very easy. It certainly doesn't qualify as a project. It can be done in a matter of minutes. This vehicle in front of us has a very common type of an air box where two clips on the side of it are really all that's required to pull the air box off of the car. Then this filter is designed to go right into the slot inside the air box, and then it goes back on, and literally before you know it, it's done. Wow. So how do you know which air filter will fit in your car? You can get on the internet and there are some great websites where it's very easy to look up the part number and actually order it so that it arrives on your doorstep within a few days. But what about the air intake system? That's different, right? It's a bit more complicated than just an air filter. It would definitely qualify as a project. Okay. Uh, it typically takes 90 minutes to two hours to do. It can really create a different feel to the performance of a vehicle and I'll be happy to take you through the individual steps required to install one. First thing we do, Bridget, is disconnect the negative battery terminal. Then we're gonna disconnect the stock hoses and remove the stock bolts using standard hand tools. Next, we remove the entire stock air intake assembly that was put on the vehicle at the factory when new. Next, we install a K&N heat shield, and it is there to shield the air filter from the heat of the engine, creating cooler air flowing through the intake into the engine, which promotes more horsepower. Then we'll install the K&N tube and bolt it to the top of the engine on a piece that we call the throttle body. Finally, we install the K&N washable, reusable performance air filter onto the end of the intake tube. Well, this has been amazing and a really fun project for those who like to tinker around with cars. Yeah, these are some great examples of the way consumers can do little projects that can add performance to their vehicle or even help reduce the waste that goes into the nation's landfills from disposable air filters. Now tell me where our viewers can find more information about finding washable air filters. They're available at knfilters.com where consumers can come to learn more about the products, uh, even look up the estimated horsepower gains that are available from the installed intake systems we offer or purchase directly from us. We'll have a link to KNN's website on our own, designingspaces.tv, and there you can click on the Think Green section to also watch this part of the show again. From KNN headquarters in Riverside, California, I'm Bridget Daly for Designing Spaces Think Green. Clean water, a healthy ecosystem, lower utility costs, and an efficient household. We all want these things, and we can have them because the technologies are here now for a healthier environment and lifestyle. We're headed in the right direction, so let's keep going that way and think green. For Designing Spaces Think Green, I'm Ted Brunson. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.